Hey MechWarrior, welcome back to Open Plays MechWarrior 5. One of the things we're going to be looking at this episode is, um, no, well, not that. Remember what, what I was just telling myself I was going to do. We're going to go do bow and arrow, which is 55 days away. Then after that we can go do bring her home, which is way over here. But for now, let's go here. Bow and arrow nets you a rifleman DNA, which stands for Diana. I have no idea what that name, the genesis of that name is, but uh, it's what it is. And it's a good storyline. It's a 65. For the first one, we're searching for a mech, but it comes out to being a demolition. At 270 tons, which is... Eh, not too bad. Three million sea bells. I'm a little bit heavy. And there's the reason why right there. We'll stay a little bit heavy. And I'll take the dragon. Yeah, that is a little heavy, huh? How about we go with the griffin? I gotta get at least one more medium mech. Or low weight heavy, like the dragon. It could be the uh, Diana. Make a good hard look at it this time. I usually just cast it aside. Well, I rip out its XL engine, then cast it aside. <clears throat> that first destination from Kate was picked clean by an unknown force. I was able to track the looters' steps back here, to a remote staging area. Go in, and level their base. Let's see if they have that archer. Little bit of a continuity loss. What first place? We haven't talked to Kate at all yet. Tried to get around him. A little bit too much talking on this one. Can't tell if my uh, guys are following orders or not. Really? Okay. I'm gonna take a beating here, aren't I? Yep, I did. That okay. Try not to overheat this time.
Good timing on that, huh? Lots of big stuff to demo here. This should do it. Well, that's it for the base. But it looks like that archer was never here to begin with. Seems these treasure hunters turned up nothing. Best get back to the dropship. Hopefully, we'll have better luck at the next location. Man, that awesome kind of had its way with me, didn't it? Well, but again, I am in a 75 tonner, so... Happy to be here. A little late for that. Actually got more than I uh, bargained for or negotiated for. Three picks. One and two. Well, I guess I earned all that, huh? And 232 is a lot of damage. Anybody else would have been hurting. And of course, the reason I say that is all of the damage I can take. Next mission. Don't want that. Gunjai on Adder. It uh, locked up on me last time I did that. So it's not here, of course. It's right over here on Ibstock. Don't have to worry about the uh, uh, McCarran's armor coming down on us because they never come into high reward quest missions. I've never seen them do that, I should say. I'm not aware of any specific programming says they can't. Still under repair. Fifteen more days on the hammer hand. I really did beat the crap out of it. Or they really beat the crap out of it. It's a 315 mission, so the question is will I continue on the hammer hand? This is a raid. I think I might switch up a little bit here. I haven't done that in a while. And we'll uh, likewise bump up some of the uh, other mechs as well. Might give her something to work those missiles with, as well as this. She's going to be a little bit light on ballistic, so. And 80 tons. I'm not taking the awesome. I guess we could just set it out and let him take the uh, hammer hands, huh? Yeah, we'll wait the 15 days. Now I gotta check out my weapons groupings. No time like the present. He has a whole lot more short range than I like. This does not mean I won't jump into the hammer hands at my convenience. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Gone along with a number of Merc forces. 
had been using a series of satellites to broadcast false leads on the whereabouts of his father's mech. We'll have to take these satellite stations out in order to stop the spread of misinformation that could sow chaos for the remaining locations. We have an inline from Kate who wishes to oversee the progress of our mission. Setting her up on comms now. Greetings, mercenary. I hope you don't mind me observing the mission. I didn't realize the lengths my brother would go in keeping this mech from you. When I learned of this massive deception network, well, I just want to help in any way I can. I appreciate that, Kate. What I don't appreciate is chasing down false leads to collect what's mine. You can thank my brother, the black sheep of the family, for that. He'd rather the archer fall into the hands of a stranger than honor his father's dying wish. Frankly, you can do whatever you want with the mech. I just want my brother to end his obsession and come home. Skater here. That's the end of him. Now you see what I mean about lack of long range on this guy. That's a tank. Dropped it. That will eventually wander out and meet us again. Target acquired. Objective down. It's pretty clear the ON1B did not lock his LRMs in before he fired. Another heavy just popped out of nowhere. Tango smoked. Well, it wasn't nowhere, it was inside here. And that's just the first place. In my mind, as a player who's played these many, many times, one of the annoying factors is you can't turn off the speech and just make it appear up on the screen for reading. Because while they're talking, if you issue commands to your lance mates, you can't hear their response. Don't they don't like respond. How's that for missing the ball on those mountains texture? Give you a zoom. They're all the same. with the laser you don't have to lead VTOL so you just shoot. New target Focus target updated. Stuck on this. This is Skater. That's the end of that. Damn it! Our bots are completed! Target destroyed. Target applied. Oh, 
You've lost a mech. What the heck is that? Ah. Snuck him. What is up there? That's cool. I've never noticed that before. That VTOL is on our list of targets. Let's make our quarter. And they already have, and I'm letting this guy shoot me. Enemy destroyed. Target destroyed. Burn to the ground. Target is down. I noticed the uh, map point behind me did not go away. A lot of VTOLs in this game. I'm pretty sure we're going to clear the uh, warrior mission for that. You know, I gotta run all the way back. Nope, this hasn't cleared yet either. Hmm. It's gone. Shucks. Must be orbital. Still gotta go close up this map point. That's all it wanted was for me to get a little bit closer now. Could have saved that heat generation. Although actually this mech is uh, well cooled. I might be able to, well we're on an airless vacuum planet world. Well, the steps get kind of monopolous, monotonous, don't they? Monopolous. <laughs> yeah, I've had three strokes. I got, I got speech stuff. Freely admit it. Wrong words, forget words. Back. Kill that walker. I'll say you better kill that guy. Target acquired. That's another tower down. Why is Bowen going to this much trouble to disobey his father's dying wish? My brother was just a boy when my father was discharged from the Free World's guards. It wasn't just my father who became a pariah. It was our entire family. Bowen himself was kicked out of the Princefield Military Academy. Barred from re-enlisting with the military as a retaliation by the League for our father's actions. Bowen saw his life dissolve into isolation yeah, totally missed. and uncertainty. And as a result, turned to a life in the black market. My brother has always blamed my father for the loss of the life he could have had. 
tough break, paying for the sins of your father. That will put an end to Bowen's falsehoods. Sadly, this second location was also a bust. Head back to the dropship, Commander. But wait. Has just supplied us with the coordinates this should the be the third. third. Now we're going to the third? Because in the first mission, she, she mentioned that the first location was empty. Before we started the first mission. That's what I mean by continuity issues. With all these upgrades and fixes, they've never changed it. Welcome back, Commander. Let's hope the third time is the charm. It's a defense mission. Which is not an easy one. By which I mean there's a lot of folks coming in. I'm not going to make a 80% whatever on that one. <laughs> one piece of panther salvage. <laughs> I must have blown the crap out of the two that were in there. Well, there. I'm taking these because there's nothing else here. Low tier weapons. Yeah, see. That tells you that's a good, very, very good mech. When the, the, the kills and the damage follow the mech down to slot three? Yeah. Okay, I thought I'd get that. And that. Whoopty. Hmm. Chimp Jets, class two, huh? Nope. What are drifter jump jets? Oh, okay. They push you. No thanks. Oh. Yeah, I'm doing bow and arrow, that's right. Yeah, hey, I managed to accept it and didn't get hung up. Better do some of this first. Bernardo. abandoned facility so we can search it for the archer, which means defend it, of course. Only get eight picks, 340 tons. Confirm, gotta add. Need to change Orion's around so that he becomes a LRM kind of guy. And LRM 10, no LRMs, no LRM 10, slow guy with a 15, and no other real punch. Hmm. And the Mackie doesn't have any either. So that's the question. Do I take the uh, Atlas? You can get out of its own way. Damage wise, 58. Yeah, it's not that much difference here. Not that much difference. It's an AC-10 different, basically. I prefer... If I gotta get another support mech in here. That's all there is to it. And this is run up and kill him. And this is walk up and punch him in the head, but shoot him with missiles from afar to get their attentions until these two guys can run up and kill him. Uh, 
I might wind up switching into the hammer hands on this one for, for sure. Let me, uh... Uh... Let me make sure this guy's weapons groups are done right. Yes, they are. Okay. If you do them up here properly, they don't change down below. If you change them in battle, they don't, they don't necessarily stick. I don't think I've ever done this mission with a Atlas running 48. This is the place, Commander. Fan out and secure the facility so the support forces can move in. I'll assume command of the base. We're at target location and not a moment too soon. We need to keep as much of this facility preserved as possible, Commander. Yeah, I get it. We to have any hope of our salvage teams finding Kincaid's Meg after all this is over. Except it's not here, so... Now fan out and take defensive positions. Prepare for incoming hostiles. This is Major Keller with the Waco Rangers. You're trespassing on private property of Bowen Kincaid. Support this facility immediately, or you will be fired upon. been overheated. Keep doing that, but that time it worked out. Okay, get in a good place for the next one. Yeah, and that's a third of the way through, Looks but now like comes the real changes. stuff. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. There's always multiple. Those little red dots are, aren't very visible through the volcano stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> of course it is. Okay. Uh, where are we at? That was not what I said. What's your focusing target? This has your name on it. Which is why I don't like taking LRM Max because I get lost doing that and don't get to focus on what I'm supposed to be doing, which is telling my people what to do. Keep pushing four instead of R, or R instead of four, whatever, etc. Halfway. Like I said, probably not going to make the uh, eighty percent thing. Attacking target. Moving to range. Target acquired. Thought there were two over here. to survive not lose any mechs there should be a couple heavies I think Okay. Let me move. Go get him. Operating 
fighting in the area. Watch out for them. Of course they are, you know. Tell me what direction they're coming from. Ah, that away. And apparently that away. Got it. Engaging. Target acquired. And that away. It tells me I've been using it properly. That's it. All remaining ranger units are falling back from the area. I think we're in the clear for the time being, but I doubt we've seen the last of them. We're bringing in the dropship and the salvage crew to search the compound now, Commander. Sit tight. Well, like all the other high reward quest missions, when you come out of this, when you come out of it with a decent amount of sea bills, so that's nothing to uh, thumb your nose at. Yeah. Yeah, it took a little bit of damage there, didn't it? Not too bad. Well, 280s isn't light. But it's a hero mech, it can handle it. Let's see. Fix them up. Home. Number four. Leave that be. Well, that's a nice shadow hawk he gets. That's four million dollar bonus pay. Hate to take a pilot on board and sell his mech right away, but where are we going? Berenson. Now check how this escalates here. A uh, 340 ton. Okay, this is not the uh, Rifleman DNA. I completely forgot. This is the Archer Agincourt. The Rifleman DNA is after uh, Eyes on Democracy, the conspirators. We'll take, we'll take sea bills. And Agincourt is a worthwhile mech to take. We're a little bit light, even though I'm in a Atlas. So what we're going to do here, I think, is change out this to one of these. This reminds me. I think it's him. Yeah, he's light tonnage. And that tonnage was heat sinks, which is why I just bought a bunch. And I've got a bunch already. Cool. 
now. Cool enough to actually use. And his only long range is the LRM. But I've done that so I can go ahead and put him in here if I wanted to. But 340, we should be able to make that in fast mix, I think. I don't think that's really necessary in this one, though. I need out of this. I'm not an LRM guy, as you've noticed, I'm sure, by watching that last play. 335. Just think, do I really want this guy in there or not? I mean, 92 points of damage. That's why he gets hit that hard. I'm going to switch him and the hammer hands around. No, I'm not, because he's good with the hammer hands and she's good. Okay, we know what we got to do then. Commander. Did that completely ass backwards. Skater here. We burned hard to get here. Come I could have swore I painted all these atlases. Laser, laser, LBX ten. SRMs. Oh, why do they split them up like that? And who puts an SRM on with laser? Obviously the computer does. And why not three? And let's see. Just you on four. Ready, set, okay. mayhem. And now we're faced with a dilemma. To the northwest is our objective. Somewhere in that city is Kincaid's mech. We will have to secure and search the area if we are to claim it. But the Wacol Rangers have already dug into a position in a forward operating base to the south of our objective and could move to intercept if they see us moving on the city. A Stop talking now. Base may significantly <laughs> thin their numbers, but it might also allow Bowen to lay claim to his father's mech before we reach him. I'll leave it up to you to determine the best course of action. Okay, here's what happens. If you go to the right, you take out a couple units that are in the city that's over here. To my right. If you go to the left, there's a base over here. And you take out the McCarran Cavalry here. If you don't, oh, if you go to the right, after you've taken out the forces inside the city, the entire base over here empties down a narrow passageway and comes and attacks you. So the good news is you can focus your fire as they come, but they do not come single file. So I prefer short and sharp, which is take out the base to the left. It's also about, I engage in the open field doing it that way, uh, as opposed to inside a city. I doubt that's going to work. And you're doing a real good job of a chainsaw. Never had that before. Literally. Because I'm in a slower mech, I've never taken an atlas on this one before either. Enemy 
I did say it'd be short and sharp, didn't I? Now we gotta destroy the base. Which I guess is analogous to recapture, because that's what it says. Okay, get out the way. You can go through over here. I found that it doesn't work. You gotta go through the city. Yeah, I've literally never done this in a 48 kph mic before. Excuse me, three AC tens and an LRM. Helicopters. Boom. Of course, it's usually not as hazy as this one is either. Should be it for that. Yeah, it is. Okay. Hold up here until I could get it captured. Earlier, when I said you can also go that way, we're about to enter the area that is that way. And that's where the Agon Corps is without capturing the city. Without capturing the city, you don't get that. So you go in here and you just fart around and nothing ever happens. That's because gratuitous violence. We're on the move. Of course you are. Because you're good little boys and girls that do what you're told. Get in front of me. Where's he at? There's no backing up. Get in there. Who cares? 
spun up nicely. Should be a locust and one more. There's a locust. And that one. Didn't she already say that? It's right there. You get yourself organized, because here comes another lance of all heavies. I'm a little bit oranged out. No big deal. Agincourt. T is silent in French on that syllable. I just did a one three to here. I'm telling you, man, the Atlas is the king of the battlefield. Of course, I don't have any double heat sinks in this one yet. And all four of them killed by me. Bowen has been taken out, and the Wakehall Rangers are withdrawing from the field. Kate, I am sorry, but your brother's mech appears to be non responsive. I'm sorry to see it end this way, but I hope that now. Both my father and my brother can finally rest in peace. Peace is. I'm sure the honor of King Kate's memory will be forever entombed in the core of the Archer Commander. Coming in for extraction. All that needless destruction. Eventually. Okay, folks, I know it's been a long one. Hang in there. I'm going to pick my uh, salvage. And, yeah, note the difference in kill ratios. Agincourt. We'll go look at it in the uh, oh, rank 11. Cool. Look at it right here as well. Notice this isn't a salvaged mech. This is, we got it in mech bay, so it's fully up and ready to go. XL engines, those 86 points of damage. Twin uh, LRM ST streak. And uh, a couple of sixes. It's capable of running four LRM 10s. And just being a LRM 10 blasting mech as a support mech. It's also capable of running that same number of SRM6s being cool and slamming the crap out of anybody that comes up next to it within range of those sixes. I usually run it, if I'm going to run it with sixes, I run it with two large lasers to give me something long range because it really is annoying to have, say, a VTOL just sit back and peck at you. So anyway... We're going to have to go somewhere, so we're going to go right up here, Mia Placidius, and uh, get some repairs done. And while we're going, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Or any one of the three is nice, but what I really appreciate are comments. Tell me your thoughts. I got a Hero Atlas, and we got 25 million sea bills.
boom, mine, boar's head, maybe. See you next time. We'll find out then. Opus out.